Hey guys, the inspiration to today's recipe is a meatball sub. Now meatball subs, they're not really known to have great macros or calories, but this meatball burrito, it does. So Alyssa thinks meatball burritos sound kind of strange for some reason, but I think they sound kind of delicious. That's just my opinion though. Let's get cooking. All right guys, so the first thing you'll need is some extra lean ground beef. And today I'm using a 96 for ground beef. Next, coat your pan with baking spray and brown your beef over medium heat for around five or so minutes. Once the beef is cooked, add 100 grams to a small bowl and get out a low calorie tomato sauce of your choice. You should be able to find one that's around 20 calories per quarter cup and with these macros. So now I'm gonna add about a half a cup of the sauce, which is about 110 grams to my beef, along with some crushed red pepper, salt, and black pepper. Once you've added those ingredients, stir everything together until well combined and set that bowl aside. Now we're ready to get our wrap out for the burrito. And as you guys know, I really like these Joseph's wraps. So if you can find them, buy them. But if you can't, try to find something with similar macros to these. Your wrap should be in the 100 to 120 calorie range. So now that I've got my wrap out, I'm gonna add a small handful or about 40 grams of shredded lettuce, my beef from earlier, and I'm gonna top that with some fresh basil. Now you'll wanna tightly roll up your burrito. The tighter the better, and once it's rolled up, cut your burrito in half, and of course, as always, enjoy, guys. Question of the day, guys, what is your favorite sub? Let me know in the comments below, and my favorite sub will be down there as well. As far as the macros go on this burrito, it's 338 calories, 10 grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, 10 of which is fiber, and 40 grams of protein. That's gonna do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this burrito and I'll catch you in the next recipe.